Salam. It's easy to be at peace when we find ourselves in nature. And we literally can find ourselves in nature. The Quran constantly points us to this. To read the signs, to look at the signs within the natural world as a guidepost, as a signpost to our own internal soul. On earth are signs for those whose faith is certain. And also in yourselves, will you not then see? But these signs in nature are not just about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Surely they do give us signs to Allah's greatness, but they're also signposts to how we come to know ourselves. Because our souls, the fitra of our soul, is literally reflected in the natural world. We can come into knowing ourselves by reflecting on the natural world. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and He has set landmarks, signposts, and by the stars they find their right way. So yes, we can find our way by the stars, literally looking up to the stars for direction. But at the same time, the stars, the heavens, the earth, are reflections that point us inward, point us to the map of our own soul. And so Allah is directing us to look to nature to know ourselves. And that by literally, not just on a metaphorical level, but literally spending time in nature and, and being amongst the creation of Allah, we are guided towards this fitra. By being in the fitra of the earth, the natural state of Allah's creation, we can be in a state that guides us back to the natural state of our own creation, our own internal soul. And this is what we're trying to get to in this path of the Deen of Islam. Being in connection with nature and spending time outdoors, spending time looking on the green and breathing the oxygen from the trees literally helps us absorb this experience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we are quite, quite literally witnessing Tawheed. We are a part of this ecosystem and when we experience being a part of it and, and see how it is a regenerative system where the animals and the trees and the uh, oxygen and the cycles of photosynthesis and rain, all of this is emulating and reflecting Allah's Tawheed. But literally, if we put our head on the ground and connect with the earth, the Turab, this is an incredibly deep and powerful, not just metaphor, but physical experience and visceral connection to Allah and His creation. And this is what we need to come back to. We need to remember that our deen is a part of these natural cycles and that it points us to these, to connecting with nature. Um, and I think it's really important in this month that we not just stay indoors and just secluding ourselves, but sometimes secluding ourselves in nature and really spending time in a state of inner peace and connecting to this natural part of ourselves within the natural world. All of Allah's creation is in submission to Allah, constantly in a state of dhikr, of glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we too, as a part of Allah's creation, have a, a natural state and a natural inclination to be in recognition of our submission to Allah, to be in this witnessing state. And yet, Allah's creation, the birds, the trees, the rivers, the oceans, are constantly in this state, constantly in the state of remembrance. But us as human beings, 
we have the potential and we part of our the fitra of our nafs is to fall out of that state to forget and so we have the ability to choose to remember and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala literally points us to looking to the signs of nature as an avenue to come back into this witnessing so when he says those who remember Allah while standing or sitting or lying on their sides and contemplate the creations of the heavens and the earth saying our Lord you did not create this aimlessly when we contemplate on the creation of the earth so looking at the stars and looking at Allah's creation and saying subhanallah but it's not just about a cognitive uh, recognition of Allah's glory but he's guiding us to interact with and be in this state of tafakkur in nature and by doing that by literally taking in when we breathe in we're taking in nature and we're coming into our own nature and when we breathe out we are connecting with the the, the rest of creation that we are a part of and this enables us and enacts this aspect of an experience of Tawheed so that it doesn't become this fikr, this idea or just this thinking notion of contemplation but that we contemplate on saying SubhanAllah, isn't this you know, glory to Allah, look at this natural surroundings and that that should then lead us inward and lead us into a state of peace peace within and peace in the natural state of our fitra of our soul when it is in this state of rest so all throughout this month of Ramadan we're going to be reflecting on these signs in nature and the metaphors that Allah uses in the Quran to guide us towards the natural world for guidance in our own development and we start this by sowing a seed seeds are reflective of the potential that we have the seed has all of the genetic information inside of it that it needs to develop into its potential and similarly we have this fitra inside of us where we have this uh, beautiful potential of the elevation of the the example of the Prophet in the perfected character this is the potential that we have in this seed in our soul and we really do this work of cultivating our soul to maximize our potential and this idea of cultivating that we're, we're actually planting the seed is a distinction between the metaphors of nature that are about agriculture and the metaphors that Allah uses about nature that are about the wild state of nature and so we are looking at these themes of agriculture, of gardening, of farming because it, it's about the human being taking action and actually doing the work of struggling and doing the work of cultivating the soul so that we can uh, come into this state of fitra. It's not something that if we just allow the soul to lay fallow and we allow it to go wild we, we can actually get away from our nature. In order to come into this we have to do work and so in this month of Ramadan is when we are set up to do this work to come back to these patterns and these cycles that are really in tune with nature right in this month of Ramadan we're following the moon cycle and we are for the most part waking up with the sun and going to sleep with the sun and slowing down our pace of life we like the seed need to give the conditions for that seed to grow so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can manifest the outcome just like anything when you have the intention and you do the work to follow up on this the outcome is still in Allah's hands have you considered the seed which you cast upon the soil 
Is it you who cause it to grow or are we the cause of its growth? And this work of maximizing our potential is a constant work. It's not something that we arrive at. It's not something that will end. We continue it and we continue deepening this throughout the month. And that process of continuing this work is about cultivating. And so next week we will be talking about cultivating the soul and continuing this work of maximizing our potential in this month of spiritual growth. <laughs>